And India's first solar exploration mission, Aditya L1, has begun collecting scientific data. The milestone marks another significant step forward for the Indian Space Research Organization as it prepares to study the sun like never before. Uh, the suprathermal and energetic particle instrument, a part of the Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment payload, has started measuring energetic ions and electrons. The data, which is being collected from a distance greater than 50,000 kilometers from the Earth, will help scientists analyze the behavior of the particles surrounding the Earth. The distance is equivalent to more than eight times the Earth's radius, placing it beyond the Earth's radiation belt region. Aditya L1 carries seven different payloads to study the sun. Four of those payloads are to study the sun while the rest will measure the parameters of the magnetic fields. By studying these elements, scientists aim to understand the sun's corona heating mechanism. Aditya L1 was successfully launched on September 2nd using a polar satellite launch vehicle from India's Sri Harakota. Uh, the launch came just days after India's historic moon landing attempt uh, by Chandrayaan 3's Vikram Lander that was successful. And our senior correspondent Siddhant MP breaks it down for us. To tell us more about India's prestigious Aditya L1 mission, we're joined by Professor Ramesh from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. He's part of the team that will be analyzing the data from Aditya L1 and coming to scientific conclusions using that data. So kindly tell us, ESA and NASA have done missions to the sun. So how is it that ISRO's mission is unique? Um, this mission, as we all know, it is meant for studying the corona, which is the outer atmosphere of the sun. The sun we see today, it is the inner atmosphere of the sun that's called the photosphere. And the place where the photosphere ends, the corona starts. Though these uh, missions by ESA and NASA in the past have carried out similar observations, they were not in a position to study the corona from where it starts. And that is very, very important uh, because of certain scientific activities which are taking place. That way, this uh, mission by ISRO, Aditya L1 mission, will be able to see those regions of the corona which has not been observed in the past by the ESA and NASA missions. Okay.